was a gift from my father. My father grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut. It was given to him from a neighbor. His neighbor was a civil engineer, and his neighbor also ran a radio repair shop in his basement, and my dad helped him repair radios. And he actually told me that this man inspired him to go on to MIT, and so it's really special. We know it's a pocket watch. It's 18 karat gold. It was made by Smith & Son in London. Okay. And they were famous watchmakers. They made watches for the British royalty. They made them for the Admiralty, for the Navy. They were very famous for making chronometers and very accurate timepieces. They were also made watches for the King of Spain. Oh, okay, because it's called the King of Spain watch by my family. So. Oh, is that right? Right. It's written somewhere on it, I think okay. on the inside. Well, we'll open it up and look at it. But let's study the face of the watch first. You have an hour hand, of course, like all watches, and a minute hand, and a constant running second hand. Okay. But do you know what that little dial is in that hand is up there? I'm not sure. I think it's a wind on it. It says up, down. Wind? So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all uh, I know. It's called a power reserve indicator or a winding indicator. Uh -huh. And basically it would tell you how much time the watch had left before it would stop ticking so oh. you would know when to wind the watch. Oh, and wind. I'm going to just give it a quick turn. As we turn the watch to wind it, watch that hand move. You see, do oh, you look see at it's that. moving? Okay. And so that winding indicator would turn. And you would know when you wound the watch all the way up. You'd also know when you have to wind the watch again. It's a very heavy case, 18 karat solid gold. The case was made by Frederick Toms. He was a famous English case maker. Now, the watch has an enamel porcelain dial, which is a very faint hairline crack. And that was about the only flaw that I could see in it. But other than that, the watch has a very special feature that I want to show you. Okay. When we open up the back of the watch, you'll see here that there's the escapement of the watch. Now, this has a very special type of escapement known as a tourbillon. Okay. And the whole escapement makes one revolution every 60 seconds. Tourbillons were invented by Breguet, who was really the most famous watchmaker in France. He was 50 years ahead of everybody else. Breguet didn't make this actual tourbillon, but this was his invention. Mm -hmm. And what it was made for was to counteract the effects of gravity on the watch. When a watch lays flat, gravity is pulling on it and it can affect the timekeeping of it. And if you turn the watch over, now gravity's pulling on it another way. Right. So it was thought that if the escapement was constantly revolving, gravity would never be pulling on it in one oh. particular direction. Okay. And therefore, it would be of the utmost accuracy. These escapements are really incredibly rare. Really? Now, you mentioned the King of Spain watch, and right. it's upside down, but it says maker to the Admiralty, and it's signed by the maker here, Smith & Son, London. Right. It also says His Majesty, the King of Spain, with the royal warrants. And one other interesting feature on these watches is that it actually spun all the way around here. Your watch is hallmarked, and I dated them. The case was manufactured in 1904. I think this case could be as heavy as three ounces of 18 karat gold. Okay. Which at present gold prices today would put the gold value at over $2,000 and close to $3,000. Oh, wow. Okay. The power reserve indicator adds a little bit to the value of it. Mm -hmm. So a watch like this with a power reserve indicator, nice heavy big English watch with a normal escapement would retail for around four to $5,000. Wow. This watch in the present market would retail between forty to fifty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. No. Wow. I had no idea. <laughs> I better be careful with it. This Torbillion escapement is still rare today and it's made for very collectible watches. Let's take an example of like a Patek Philippe wristwatch. A strap, Patek Philippe, 18 karat gold. Retail price let's say is around twenty thousand dollars. That same watch with a Tourbillon escapement would retail by Patek Philippe between $200,000 and $250,000. Oh, wow. So it's, it's something really wonderful to have and, and very special. That's amazing. Well, I knew it was a special watch, but I didn't yeah. know how special.